that's why this may not feel like it makes much sense or you may feel like you're not very grounded right now because you're you're feeling through a lot of your emotions but you are the reason why you're able to feel through these emotions the reason why you're able to look at this devil energy with a sense of authority and say this doesn't feel right or this doesn't serve me i'm walking away from it it's because you are balanced because you are grounded because you have this sense of stability within yourself chariot four of wands Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up, guys? So welcome to April of 2021, yeah? Please keep in mind that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. It's also a general energy reading. So we could be talking about anything here. Love, money, career, finances, family, friends, all, anything, all right? Anything. So so because of that also we could be talking to the cross watcher so if the story doesn't resonate for you the way that i'm narrating it but it would if you were to switch the roles then go ahead and do that yeah just place it into your life as it fits naturally do not try to place anything into your life that doesn't fit because it's just gonna get confusing and icky yes so I am available for private readings. If you would like to get one with me, just check the description box below. All of the information can be found there. Also, if you're vibing with me as a reader, I highly recommend that you check me out over on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. You can find the link to that in the description box as well. Uh, we have all kinds of extra great content there, including monthly love readings for all of the zodiac signs. However, daily readings have since moved back to uh, YouTube in the form of morning coffee as of the 1st of April. Yes, but there's still lots of great stuff over on Patreon. So for today, for to this month's reading, we're going to be using the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot as our main tarot deck. And then we're going to be getting closing oracle guidance from the Oracle of the Unicorns, seeing as how we are in the spring season, the unicorns felt like the right fit for our guidance this month. Yes. All right, Capricorn, let's get into your pre-shuffle energies here. So uh, you are approaching a major end to, the to a cycle. For some of you, this does feel like business and finances. You have the Three of Pentacles here, which is upright. And at first, this felt like business. What it is you do for work, your job, your career path, etc. You have that with the Queen of Wands in reverse and the world in reverse. And then at the bottom of the deck, Oh, at the bottom of the deck. The bottom of the deck is death. All right. Um, but it feels like what this feels like is going on for you right now, Capricorn, is that you feel out of sorts with what it with where it is you find yourself right now. And it feels like you're kind of going back to the drawing board. This world in reverse energy feels like the upcoming end to a cycle. You're going through a transformative period right now, Capricorn, but you don't quite know how it's going to work out. Some of you don't quite understand what's happening right now. All you know is that you just don't, you feel out of alignment with it. You don't feel like wherever it is you find yourself right now is the right fit for you. Okay? Take this slowly, slowly but surely, Capricorn, Knight of Pentacles, and try not to focus on the external. Instead, try to go within and focus on the internal. Because the reason why you are feeling this up, this unrest right now, Capricorn, is because you are being called to something higher. You are being called to rise above, potentially rise above the societal structure, the societal norms, the traditional way of doing things. Okay? Yeah. But again... I, I'm not going to sit here and try and define this for you because I couldn't do that. This is a general reading. This is, so you're going to have to work on defining that for yourself. But that's what this Three of Pentacles energy is. This is that energy of you working on yourself, doing the self-mastery, working on that foundation to figure out and to understand why it is you feel out of sorts or out of alignment and what you can do to bring that, bring yourself into alignment. And the one thing, but the one thing I can tell you is you bringing yourself into that alignment ultimately is going to bring a major closing for you and the transformation, death, okay? 
Okay, Capricorn. Excellent. So let's just get a cleansing shuffle here. Let's reset. Nine of Wands. Don't give up. Don't give up. You're going to get through this. It may seem tricky for you right now. Uh, this definitely does feel like it's taking you out of your comfort zone. Even though you are a, um, a cardinal sign, Capricorn, you're still an earth sign. And I feel like for whomever this is for, you found comfort and stability and predictability in your material pursuits. But now because that's changing, it feels like you're out of sorts or... Um, well, it feels like you feel like you're out of sorts, but really you're just going through a, a major transformational process that is getting you into alignment with things that actually vibe with you or actually resonate with you right now instead of just going with the status quo or keeping up the status quo or keeping up appearance, okay? So instead of having that physical stability or that physical mundane, um, what's the word, uh, routine, you're sinking into or you're being guided to open up to the mystery and the potential of the universe or you're being guided to open up to your higher self right now and there's a lot of unknown energy around you and yes you are a cardinal sign but you're still an earth sign all right so st stability grounding foundation um what is it uh routine all the the stability of the earth you don't really have that right now because you're kind of being shot up into the sky into more of like an air energy which feels pretty unsettling for you but you'll be able to get through it i promise yeah awesome <clears throat> awesome all right capricorn let's get into the rest of your reading here and see what we have we have for you this month here we go Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Capricorns at this time. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the general energies for Capricorn for the month of April of 2021. Thank you so much spirit all right capricorn first things first there is a message for you here saying that your 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 energy is safe and secure okay um you may not feel like it capricorn but you actually are quite grounded right now but it's that sense of being grounded that is causing you to open up to the unknown is causing you to question things is causing you to understand or feel or recognize that you feel out of sorts with the reality you find yourself in right now. You feel out of alignment. It just doesn't feel right. But the reason you can feel through that is because you are grounded, okay? You, because you are stable, safe, and secure. So that's allowing you to feel how you're just not in alignment with what you find yourself surrounded by right now, okay? Keep that in mind. Five shuffles. One. For my Capricorns, this is two. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April of the deck Boop. all righty overall energy for the capricorn you ooh, there you are starting yourself off with the devil but capricorn this feels like you're recognizing some um i kind of want to say some devilish aspects to your life but what I really mean there is um, 
you're you're becoming aware of certain attachments that no longer serve you and i feel like you're specifically asking yourself why am i still attached to this what about okay a question i just heard specifically was what about this situation has me so forcefully grounded in this reality or in this circumstance or situationship Underneath the devil is the Eight of Cups. Underneath the Eight of Cups is the Emperor. And underneath the Emperor is the Chariot. I just heard greater alignment has brought you here. You may not be aware of it. You may not have consciously understood or felt it happen, but it's here. It's happening. And it's this sense of authority in your life. Uh, feeling in control, feeling grounded, that is allowing you to question your reality and find ways or find things that you can walk away from or leave behind that no longer serve you in service of greater alignment within yourself, greater emotional balance, emotional stability that is driving you forward. It's this chariot energy that's also providing you with the sense of emotional awareness to say, okay, this feels good, this doesn't feel good, okay? A lot of the time, I like to talk about how the chariot can represent um, law of attraction energies in, the terms, in, in terms of feeling what's right and moving in that direction and feeling what's wrong and choosing what doesn't feel right to you and choosing not to continue in that direction. And that's literally what's going on here right now. This doesn't feel like it has any sort of basis in anything other than emotional reality. But that Capricorn is not something to be... What's the phrase I'm looking for? It's not something to be brushed aside. Your emotions are actually, are, are very, are very, very important part of your life. And for some of you, you're, for, you're finally getting into that place of being able to honor your emotions to begin with. And again, that's why this may not feel like it makes much sense or you may feel like you're not very grounded right now because you're, you're feeling through a lot of your emotions, but you are. The reason why you're able to feel through these emotions, the reason why you're able to look at this devil energy with a sense of authority and say, this doesn't feel right or this doesn't serve me, I'm walking away from it. It's because you are balanced, because you are grounded, because you have this sense of stability within yourself chariot four of wands okay all right capricorn let's get into the rest of this here first half of your reading first set of surrounding energies you have the magician some of you really don't know this maybe don't even recognize it right now but you are very much manifesting exactly what you want and need again for some of you it doesn't make any sense right now but that's the thing about the emotions. They don't have to make logical sense. They don't, they often don't make logical sense. That doesn't mean they're any less valid. And that doesn't mean they're any less valuable when it comes to manifesting the life you desire. Okay? Some of you really are working with your emotions for the very first time. Consciously. That's beautiful. The magician is coupled with the king of pentacles. Okay? This is you grounded, stable, secure within yourself. This is you feeling, knowing who it is that you are and actually knowing what it is you actually want. Beautiful. Having a greater sense of what it is that you really want. And this, this King of Pentacles energy flies right in the face of this devil energy. Because in terms of you being stable and secure and grounded and more aware and knowledgeable on what it is that you want or who it is that you are, from that place, you can stand up to the devil and say, I'm not, you're, you're not going to, I'm not going to be chained to you any longer. I don't need to be chained to you any longer. Your services are no longer welcome here. Your services are no longer needed here. Bye bye. <laughs> Second set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn, in the first half of your reading, you do have the Eight of Swords. 
but you're breaking out of this. Definitely breaking out of this. Eight of Swords is coupled with, yep, there you go, Eight of Wands. So you're literally going from Eight of Swords, feeling confined, feeling like you have certain obligations that you have to keep up with, this, that, and the third, um, feeling like you have to work at a specific job or work in a specific career, but anything that feels that was confining for you, you're breaking free from that. You're literally going from confinement to freedom. And it's beautiful. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Capricorn, the lovers. So the challenge for you is making the decision for yourself. Figuring out what is truly right for you. Figuring out what is the best decision for you to make. What does your heart really want? What do your emotions guide you towards? And making that decision. I'm even hearing sticking to it. Some of you are facing the challenge of needing to make a better de a decision that serves your, yourself, your highest self, or having made that decision already, but now needing to follow through with it, not allowing others to convince you or this devil energy to convince you that you can't do that, okay? You're no stranger to following through with things, Capricorn, but the, the, what I'm feeling for you re right here, right now, is this is on a whole new level because you are needing to follow your own heart and your and the, the the desires or the direction that your heart is leading you towards isn't necessarily going to provide you with the external validation that you may be so used to and that's going to be a challenge for you in fo continuing to follow through keeping up with what your heart is guiding you towards the lovers is coupled with the four of swords so you're really gonna have to sit down and meditate on this. Make sure you get very clear, get your mind very clear on what it is your heart is telling you, yeah? Stop listening to the external. You gotta go within for this one. Your closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading, Capricorn, is the tower. Yeah. Breaking down to release towards freedom. This structure no longer serves you. It's time for you to be a free individual that you really truly are. Some of you are learning about how to embrace a free spirited nature. And that's challenging, especially for individuals that thrive on physical structure. But it's also a good lesson to learn and a good skill to have under your belt, right? Especially when you're able to balance the two. Allow yourself to be structured when you need to be and allowing yourself to be free when you need to be. Excellent. The tower is coupled with the six of wands. You're damn right that's a victory, Capricorn. That's beautiful. Literally, this is all about freedom for you right now true freedom, soul freedom, okay? Let's pause for a second. Sorry, I had to close my screen or all the mosquitoes were gonna get in. All right, let's get into your second half, the second half of your reading here, yes? First set of surrounding energies for you, Capricorn. You do have the Nine of Pentacles standing on your own, a sovereign being. Again, freedom. being stable, grounded, and secure within yourself, having a sense of autonomy. In some cases, this feels like for some of you, you're really starting to think for yourself instead of allowing others to dictate where it is you go, what it is you do. Who, I'm hearing things like who it is you sleep with. Like, what? Word? I mean, okay, but like, it seems like you're coming out of that, so that's fine. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles is coupled with the moon. But, okay, so what I just heard with this is the reason why you are able to stand in this autonomous space is because you have come to terms with a lot of your shadow side. I'm hearing you see who it is you truly are underneath the surface. And it's because of that, 
because of the fact that you see who you truly more of who you truly are under the surface that gives this energy less of a hold on you it was a lack of self-awareness in the past that had this devil energy with its claws in you holding on for dear life but now that you have a greater sense of self-awareness the moon and the nine of pentacles this devil energy has less to hold on to and that's excellent second set of surrounding energies for you capricorn in the second half of your reading you do have the knight of swords uh, and with that i just get the energy of cutting yourself free There may be a bit of an energy of like some blind rage or um, just blindly going out into the battle. So I guess this Knight of Swords could be a pretty defensive energy, I guess is what we should call that. Because there is a sense of unknown, the unknown coming through here. Working on your behalf, yes, but because of, because this is a little uncomfortable for you, it might be putting you on edge. So just be careful of how you react. I'd rather, I would, I would say it's better to respond than to react. And this Knight of Swords energy can be a pretty reactive energy. Uh, very shoot first, shoot first, ask questions later. Okay. It's like you're in a dark place and something stirs around you and instead of like chilling out and just waiting to actually see if it's something dangerous just shooting in the darkness to give to 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 keep them from getting the opportunity to like get the drop on you only to find out you really didn't need to have to defend yourself so much because you really weren't that much in danger you know what i mean that's kind of what i'm getting from the knight of swords here knight of swords is coupled with the seven yep the seven of cups there's the confusion okay so instead of just rolling up into the situation, guns blazing, instead work to understand what's really where, if you really are in danger, if you really are in danger, then defend yourself. But you may not necessarily be in danger. You know what I mean? Your challenge in the second half of your reading, Capricorn, is the Knight of Wands. Feeling activated. Don't try to rush this. This is not something that you can rush. And I know some of you are kind of getting are pretty nervous um, because this is a pretty unknown energy. So you want to get through this as fast as you possibly can, but you can't rush this. Okay. The Knight of Wands is also this activation for you to move in a different direction. This fiery energy of the Knight of Wands feels like it's really a challenge for some of you right now because you're not used to this. You're not used to this kind of like what I'm hearing is some of you are looking at this saying, oh, flying by the seat of my pants or flying by the seat of your pants or something like that. You're not really used to that. But what you need to understand is there is a guiding force behind this. There is a rhyme or reason for this, even if it doesn't necessarily make sense right now. Okay, you just have to go with the flow. Knight of Wands is coupled with the Ten of Wands. So this feels like the opposition of your past in uh, that's causing friction with your current energy of wanting to move forward. And what's going to help you move forward here, Capricorn, is you releasing the burdens that keep you from honoring this new drive you have within, okay? This is a very conflicting energy, it feels like. But ultimately, focusing on the drive that you have will help you to release the burdens that hold you back from moving forward, okay? Closing message or potential outcome for you, Capricorn, is the Ten of Swords. Excellent. And what I really want to say here for you, Capricorn, is just allow the situation to work itself out, all right? allow this to fall away. I mean, this is a good thing. Ultimately, you're coming to an end of a toxic situation, a toxic cycle. I'm hearing a family drama, a family dynamic, um, something that just maybe was backstabbing or was just really difficult to deal with. 
because it was out of alignment with you. It never, it, it, and it, it feels like you may have struggled all along to fit yourself in here. And finally, you're coming to the point where you have the self-awareness to say to yourself, okay, wait, this really doesn't fit for me. This really just doesn't feel in alignment for me. I feel out of sorts here. This feels out of place. This is a good thing. Ten of Swords is coupled with the Queen of Cups, emotional awareness. Also, emotional boundaries. But it's this emotional awareness that's causing you to say, something doesn't feel right here. I got to make a change. Something has to give. Ooh, hi, lizard. That's a big lizard. And a mosquito. But, all right, so that's good. And there's that, where are the emotions coming through? The emotions that you probably were not so used to dealing with, there's that emotional awareness. Awesome. Let's get your closing oracle guidance here. Capricorn, three shuffles. One. Two. Now I'm all paranoid because there's a mosquito around, and this is three. <laughs> All right, Capricorn. Closing Oracle Guidance for you. Ooh, there it is. Ah, okay. You have passion. Do what excites you. Get fired up about your life. Increase your energy levels. But this passionate energy is very much uh, directly related to the Knight of Wands. That's beautiful. Here we go. Life can be an exciting adventure if you want it to be. You never have to settle for less or accept feeling bored or unfulfilled. You can live a, fr a fraction of the possibilities that are available to you, or you can open your arms wide and say yes to life. This fire unicorn is here to ignite the fires of passion in your heart and set your life ablaze with energy and enthusiasm. Do more of what lights you up and fearlessly pursue your passions in both your career and personal life. Have the courage to go traveling, change jobs, or start your own business or nonprofit association. Take a stand for what you believe in, speak out on issues you care about, and get more involved in making a difference. Get out into the world and laugh more, dance more, love more, live more. Leave fine and normal behind and choose a new life of amazing and fabulous. Decide to play the game of life by your own rules, living boldly with a sparkle in your eye and a fire in your heart. This card can also be, called, be a call to increase your energy levels so you naturally feel more alive. Clean up your diet, get more sleep, exercise regularly, and nurture your body. When your energy levels are high, so too is your passion for life. Wonderful. So there you have it, Capricorn. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, again, if you would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. All the information is in the description box below. And if you'd like to check me out on Patreon, I highly recommend you do so. Patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of May. Yeah? Take care. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>